Hey everybody, I'm Chili. Let's take a look at the homework for tutorial 11 where we're supposed to take the poo game and make it sprite delicious. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff we could do with the poo game, right? We've, we've, we've tried so hard, we've come so far, and you know, it didn't even matter and all that stuff, but what I'm trying to say is, I mean, come on. Come on here, we want to make this a vector, don't we? I mean, look at this, look at this poo shit here. What's this init bullshit? We need a proper constructor here. But we're not going to do that. All we're going to do is the basics. Because, I mean, come on. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, what we'll do is you're going to extract the uh, the images, the, the zip file that I gave you with the poo images, extract it to here. You're going to have some images. We're going to load those images into surfaces. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do after copying over those files is, well, we want to use surfaces, right? We want to use that sick-ass class we just made, but this fucking project doesn't have surface, doesn't have all the good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that shit over. So we need to copy over everything that is, you know, pertinent to the situation. So what do we got? Chili exception, chili win, that stuff didn't change. Uh, game, that's not important. Graphics, graphics obviously changed, right? We got the draw sprite function, keyboard, no. Main, main window, no, no, no. Mouse, no. Rect eye, we need that shit. We need rect eye. Uh, what else? Resource? No, no, no. Sound, sound effect? No, we got that. Surface? Definitely need surface. Definitely need V2. And we'll copy that over. And we want to replace, replace. And now, while we still have that bullshit selected, I'm going to take this and copy it over into the project like this. Fail to drop file graphics.cpp. All right, well, I mean, I guess we have to unselect the ones that already exist in there. So we'll do that. We'll drag these guys in here, and now we've got our files in our project. Everything is good. Let's just give it a quick build to make sure we didn't break anything before we start over again. Does anything break? Well, it looks like we might have broken some stuff. Draw, rect, dim. All right, so this is what I was afraid of. It looks like there was some stuff in the old one that we don't have in the new one. We got the draw, rect, dim function. Also, we're missing the uh, the color thing here. So what we can do, what we can do is first off for the color, we just copy that shit over. Colors.h, you go in here now, copy and replace. All right, good. Now, um, this guy's got to go into, not into source files, into the header files. Ah, it's already in there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's already in there. So now for the other thing, what we can do is we can go to graphics.h and we can go compare with unmodified. So we can compare the old version and new version. We got draw rect, uh, draw rect dim, draw circle. So we want to copy this stuff that was destroyed from the old version. Copy that, and we want to paste that into the actual graphics. So let's just put it after draw sprite, draw rect dim, draw circle. Now we go into graphics.cpp. We go compare with unmodified. We find the places where fresh is the taste, and insert Jared, whatever that guy's name is, from Subway, joke, here, please, and compare with unmodified, uh, so we got draw circle, and we got in here, where's this, ah, alright, this looks actually like a disaster actual disaster but we can still copy and paste this it's just it's been it tried to match things up and it didn't do a very good job is what happened here so where is draw rec there it is copy that and paste it in here all right this should fix the errors maybe now wait for put pixel calls to take forever to build and we're done all right so now that we have unbroken our shit it still works mazel tov now let's make it sexy so first things first um bear grillis and this is not acceptable this is not okay right draw title screen no draw game over you're not allowed to have you know 20,000 lines of code chilling out in our game.cpp we will not stand for this any longer so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking say you guys are toast get out of my face and then we're gonna go into here and we're gonna include some surface action 
surface.h and in here somewhere we're going to go surface title is equal to surface poo images double backslash dot poo poo dot bmp now the double backslash is important because remember backslash indicates an escape character so you can't just do backslash because it'll interpret that as an escape. What you have to do is you got to go double backslash and that will insert a single backslash into the string. Just trust me, that's that's what you got to do. Uh, so, poo images double backslash the poo poo dot bmp. Now you might wonder why we have L's in front of these strings but no L in front of this one. Basically the reason is, is for surface I chose std string which is a narrow string type. But for most of the other stuff in the framework, we're using wide strings, which require the L. Should probably make that the same at some point, but whatever. For now, it's fine. Surface title. So we got that. Now let's also load the end game. And that should look something like this. And now we've got to implement draw game over again. So we create the definition. And all we're going to do is draw this mother at some point in the screen. So we'll draw it at X and Y, and the surface S is going to be what? End screen. And now the color chroma, if you look at the game over, it's actually not magenta. It's going to be black. So we're going to do colors at black. And that will draw the game over. Now it looks like I can't use title because title is already for the sound. So let's call it title, title screen. And now if we go back up to here, title, screen. And there you go, draw sprite, non-chroma, draw sprite. If we build it, it builds fine and it builds a fuck of a lot faster. But we get an assertion expression file. So this means basically failed to load. So let's check our uh, paths here. And it is poo images not game over game over there we go so that's a better path let's see if that works and there you go it looks good but of course now because of our title screen being different dimensions it's not going to match up as well so let me just uh, fuck around with those numbers a bit so that's these numbers here all right this looks a lot better let's check it out there you go and when you die game over right in the middle of the screen there no problem now for the dude, we can again include surface. We can load dude.bmp. And for dude draw, we can select all this bullshit, delete it, and let's uh, draw our sprite. So that's just position X, position Y, sprite, and the chroma for the dude is magenta. So we can just leave it as the default. And there you go. Draw the dude is done. Now we can do the same thing for poo, but the thing about this is if we put a if we put a surface surface in each poo object, it's gonna be loading that image into memory multiple times, once for each poo. But you really only need one copy of the surface. So it's wasteful. And there's a bunch of ways we could handle this. We could make the surface static, so there's just one shared by all instances. And that would be okay. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna make uh, poos carry a reference, constant reference to a surface. And we're gonna pa we're gonna load the surface in game and pass each of the poos just a reference. Now, in order to pass these poos the reference, we're gonna need a constructor because this has to be set during construction. So instead of being init, this is now going to be poo, and we are going to pass in a constant surface and uh, sprite. Constructors don't return a value, so we get rid of that. And now we've got a little bit of work to do. Well, first of all, let's get rid of this initialized bullshit because it's not going to be necessary anymore. And let's go... We can remove these assertions because they don't make any sense. Uh, assert and assert. Now, init is going to be poo, the constructor. So we'll get rid of this void here. And this doesn't make sense anymore. We need to set the parameter here and we need to initialize the sprite reference to that parameter. 
And we could put these other guys here in the initializer list, but whatever, it doesn't matter where we really put it. It's not a big deal. All right, update should be fine the way it is. Test collision should be fine. Draw obviously needs a lot of work. So delete that stuff, and then in here we just do graphics.draw sprite with position x, position y, sprite. Now the, the chroma for the poo is white. So we gotta go colors, white. And there you go. Now you've got your shit set up. Now, this is gonna break something in game, right? Because we don't have a default constructor anymore, so we can't default construct our poos like this. So what's a dude to do? Well, you know what we gotta do. We gotta do the thing that I wanted to do, and then I said we weren't gonna do, and now we're doing it. Ah, if I can spell include, vector. And this guy, get vectorized. Skid vector poo poos. Now for each poo, instead of doing init, well what we're gonna do first of all, since we know how many poos we have ahead of time, we can go vec no we can go poos dot reserve and in poo. That will reserve space more efficient that way, and then in poo times, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go poos dot m place back and in place back with this. Now we need the surface, we need to pass in the surface. So, toggle, we need to load the surface. We're gonna load the surface, game is gonna be owning the surface. Uh, surface poo sprite is equal to load from poo images poo.bmp and now that we have the poo sprite we can pass it in here uh, poo sprite and there you go this should in place a number of poos back into our vector and because vectors basically act like uh, they have same syntax as arrays the rest of our code doesn't need to be changed well what's this vec2 all right so we lost a uh, yeah we lost a parentheses there we'll just put that back and we build this, see if there's any problems. Argument conversion from const float to int possible loss of data. Where? Where do we see this? All right, const float, that makes sense. Let's make it non-shitty, build that. No warnings, no errors, let's go. And we're having problems loading a file. We don't know which file it is, but we can guess, right? All right, it's not dude.bmp, it is awesome with an M, no E. Yeah, whatever. So we'll paste that in there and we will run it again. We had a warning. Never ignore warnings. Never ever ignore warnings. Build, rebuild solution. Look at how fast this builds now. I love it. All right, warning, argument conversion from cons float to int. Right, so let's do that here again. If you're building with warnings, you gotta reevaluate your life choices. I'm, that's what I'm, what I'm saying. Run this shit. It's working. It is, the game is working. The sprites are being drawn. It builds like a dream. Everything is amazing. My life is, my dick has grown nine inches. So now it is 10. Beautiful. We're done. We did it. And uh, I hope you like it because I like it. I like it a lot better than the put pixel sprites. That's for goddamn sure. And that's the video. I hope it gave you some good experience there on how to, you know, incorporate our sprite code, our surface stuff into other existing solutions. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button. It helps a lot. And I will see you soon with some more C++.